All right, everyone, welcome back to another section in which we're going to start off with Webpack Dev Server. Now, you could see that so far how we are testing our project files is just basically we are building it here, then we are opening the folder, and then we are opening it in the browser, and, uh, you know, we are just opening a regular file. Now, there are a bunch of problems with this approach. First of all, it is very slow. So if you have a big project, it is simply impractical to build the project on every every time you make a change, then, you know, wait it for building it completely, which might take a lot of time for bigger projects. Then, you know, just opening it in a regular browser with the file protocol, because you do not get access to a lot of browser APIs when you use this file protocol instead of the HTTP or HTTPS one, for example, Ajax request right so what we need to do is for our development purpose as well we need to make use of a webpack development server thankfully out of the box webpack provides us with that and we do not really need to set up our own development server somehow without any hassle we get the default server so what we want to do first of all is just go ahead and install npm install webpack dev server Right. And I'm going to just save this as a developer dependency. What it's going to do is install a development server for Webpack, which behind the scenes creates a server for us, builds the Webpack, monitors our files and reloads the page or even hot module reloading if you want. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty useful, going to save you a lot of time. And uh, this is something you should be always working with while developing projects. So once it's installed, what we want to do first of all is go to package.json and with the build script, I'm going to write another script saying dev, which is going to fire webpack dev server, right? All right. So now once we have that in place, what we need to do is inside our webpack config, we can actually configure our development server right here. So I'm going to say a dev server as the property name so this is this property is basically used by this webpack dev server when i run this right so what i want is i want this to run on port let's say one two three four four right that should be fine um what i want to do is i want to specify the content base of this and we are going to get into details of that later on but essentially what you could think of this as right now is the kind of files which webpack has not created but you still want to serve for example this index.html file right here is the file you have created not webpack but you still want to serve it you're going to make use of content base i'm going to say this is distribution folder because there here we could put our kind of like assets and something right i'm going to blow off my build folder <laughs> no blow off just the build folder right so what's happening here is that you can see in the output we are giving it a public path of assets right so what i want to do inside my index.html is i'm going to go ahead and first of all change this from main.js and right here i'm going to give slash assets slash js slash main.js because you see that we map our public path to slash assets so there's where we are instructing our generated assets would be served our file name is js slash main.js and uh, yeah that's how webpack is going to know that where we want to look for the main.js file right so if i just simply go ahead and create an h1 tag here which just says hello world and inside my let's just see what we have in engine.js i change this i actually already have this function which has write to screen, which is document dot writes hello world from webpack, right? So if we go ahead and run npm run dev, so what it's going to do is it's going to fire a webpack dev server command, and you can see right here, it fires the project at this local host one two three four URL. You could see that we are serving our output from slash assets and the content which is not from webpack is served from this folder, right? So if I go ahead and open this one in the browser. You could see that we get hello world first of all as the h1 and then we finally get hello world from webpack right 
So that is how, and you can see that we are running this on localhost 1234 instead of a standard file URL served from browser, right? So if I go ahead and make some changes to like, uh, hello world from webpack from, you know, just like this, you're going to see that it automatically reloads and shows you the changes. So that was a very basic introduction to webpack dev server. There's a lot we can do with it. So I'll just pause here, give you a moment, try to run this configuration which we have see how it looks on your computer and if you face any errors let me know in the comments for this uh, video so yeah that's all for this one i'll see you then in the next video